guys, my name is Benz and welcome to the video. Welcome back to the No Pain No Gain series where we use no mods, no hacks, no anything. We're just going to do and put some good, honest, hard work into the game and trying to build a company and get something from it. Now, Pro Mods, it has finally been updated to 1.16, I think, or 1.26 or something along those lines. Um, which brings it in line with the 1.27 update for ETS2. So we've now got our diff lock, we've got our gearbox uh, modes, we've got police cars and liftable axles, liftable axles on the trailers, which hopefully we can have a look at in a second. Um, if you want more information on 1.27 update, have a look at the 1.27 video I done a little while ago. I think it would have been a few weeks ago now from this video being going out. <clears throat> I go more in depth there, and every you see everything in action, and it's, it's, it's a bit more of an interesting video than what I'm saying now. Um, this video, unfortunately, is not going to be anywhere near as long as I wanted it to be. I wanted to make an extra long one, like an hour and a half or so, because of my previous video, which I wasn't happy with, um, where I cut it short. Uh, this one, I was dro I I've, I've already, already recorded it for like half an hour, um, drove from Felixstowe down to Portsmouth. Um, and when you get on the ferry, I was using, the, I was doing an external contract job, which is why you, here you can see World of Trucks job is suspended. And hopefully you can see it under the webcam thing. I don't know where it's going to be placed, but yeah, where it, where it says World of Trucks job is suspended. I took some fireworks from Felix so down to Portsmouth, ready to go on to the ferry to go over to France. And when it gets there, it does a sync up with the World of Trucks server, which I don't think it's ever done before. I think it might be a new thing in 1.27. But it then didn't. Ha it had a sync error because we were in a location that it didn't know about because Portsmouth is a new place on the Pro Mods map. So for some reason it couldn't work it out. It then chucked me back out. Um, it wouldn't let me get on the ferry. It also it knocked out my steering and it knocked out my pedals as well. I didn't have brake or I didn't have and I didn't have accelerator. But I could press all the buttons on the on the. I had my indicators. I had my part brake. I had all my buttons on the steering wheel. But it just it just wouldn't do anything so that sort of um, that sort of journey went to pot and I have to now re-record it and I'm running out of time to do that I've only got a limited amount of time to do it now so what I've done is we're now in obviously we're in Portsmouth where I ended up and I've picked up another job I uh, picked up a reservoir tank I'm from Portsmouth to the La Rochelle so we've still got on the same ferry hopefully it'll, hopefully it'll work uh, it's just over 11 tons. It's only 11, or well, it's nearly 12 grand, uh, just because I have to pick a shorter job, which is annoying. It's really annoying. Um, what else was there? I think that's about it, really. Um, I can quickly show. Hopefully, this trailer's got a liftable axle, which I've set to the slash key. And that it does. You can see there the, the first axle on the trailer is lifted up. Um, we've also got our diff lock, which I have, which is set to V. Which you can see a little switch on the dash there, keep getting lit up. So that's my diff lock. The diff lock is uh, is good. We'll leave the tra lift lock for trailer up. Yeah, liftable, liftable trailer axle. Yeah, we'll leave that up just because it's new and shiny, and we'll do that. Apologies if this sounds really rushed. Unfortunately, it is being rushed. Okay, right. So my gearbox mode is set to eco. Um, because I've already driven this and I know how they how it's gonna work, I should explain to it as we go. Uh just my cameras a little bit on the squiff. There we go. So if I said to people kick down, some might know what I meant by kick down is, and some people would not know what kick down is. Kick down is this. If I slam my foot down on the accelerator, the gearbox drops a gear, or drops two gears in a truck's case, to give you more RPM, give you a bit more power when it on demand. Now that is one of the new things that was added into the gearbox um, update. Once again, I go into it a bit more in in the 1.27 video. But basically there's three modes now. There's a high power mode, um, there's a normal mode, which I think is what it was beforehand, and then there is a 
eco mode. You can also disable it as well, so it doesn't change its characteristics. Well, that's a spinnaker tower, just noticed ahead of us. Never been in that. I've seen it, but never been in that. I see the light this way. Yeah, which is going to be handy when it comes to in the quarries and that. Um, you could use your normal eco mode going down the hill, but when you want power going up, you just put your foot flat to the floor and you'll have a greater um, RPM band to work with. Because at the moment, if I just take it, take it nice and slow, the gear change, the higher end of the gear change, would never go out of the green band, as you can see doing now. So it never really goes above 1500 RPM. And every now and then it will jump a couple of gears, um, but it doesn't tend to at the moment. That's something I would like to see change. And it, with a heavier trailer, it won't do it. If you've got it by itself, I and mean, when the unit's on its own, it will jump the lower gears. Normally up to like 7th, then it will jump every now and then. Right, fingers crossed this is going to work. Enter. Sherberg. Fingers crossed. Ah, it has worked. Thanks for that. Fast. Okay, so external contracts at the moment don't work through Portsmouth. So I don't think they ever will probably work because um, SCS doesn't seem to ever support mods. Um, doesn't ever develop anything for mods to work with. But hey ho. Let's carry on, let's do this journey. Uh, there are police cars as well. Uh, when I've done the previous record, which got fucking cancelled, there was police cars. We did see some uh, police cars. In the UK, the police, police were driving fucking Jaguar XFs. I wanted to say was um, there could be some times in the future where I will not put out a video. Um, I had an, I suppose I can call it an event at the start of this week where I'm recording this video, um, where well let's, let's just start from the beginning. Over the over the years, um, I've sort of swept my my health. I, I suppose my my health, my weight. I've sort of swept that under the carpet and sort of not been interested in it. Um, and slowly, I'm getting bigger and bigger year on year. Uh, at the when I got back from my last holiday, I was oh, that was a speed bump. I was pushing 16 stone. And that's the heaviest I've ever been. Um, and there was a an event at the start of the year, the start of this week, sorry, that sort of sort of did. It kicked my ass in the gear, and now I've decided to make it a priority. My health is now one of my it's one of my biggest priorities in life. Um, and it will come ahead of it will come ahead of YouTube, it will come ahead of gaming, it will come ahead of my PC, it will come ahead of everything else. Um, the reason being I have to do it because uh, there's too much to lose. If I don't do it, there will be things that I'll lose in my life that I don't want to lose and then things will end and 
I, there are things that I don't want in the wind. So I have to I have to do something about it, and I have to do something about it fast, hard and fast, basically. So I've actually taken up um, running and exercising, which at the moment is is I'm enjoying it. Actually, I'm I'm enjoying it a lot more than I thought I was going to enjoy it, but it is tiring. Like, I said before in a previous video that I wanted to do two videos a day. I wanted to try and record two videos a day to be able to get a video every day. That isn't going to happen for now, not until I get the health thing sorted out. Because I want to try and record two videos a day to now allow me more time in the mornings or in the afternoons to do my running or do my exercise. Because obviously beforehand all my time was taken up by YouTube and I'd have a little bit of a land in the morning but now I want to change that whole thing around assuming it goes down to 30 here yeah? whoa break 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 good job on the car coming right isn't it staying at 50 okay strange speed up for a little town Yeah, so, just, so it will give me days off of recording and spend a bit more time doing running or spend, doing a bit more time um, exercising. So the every video a day has been put back maybe a couple of months. Once I hit a target weight, then I'll start. Um, oh shit! Oh, I'll, I'll start to hit the target weight, or once I start feeling that I've hit a, a good um, rhythm of what I'm doing, then I'll change it. Change it back to start looking to doing a video every day. <clears throat> Not much traffic. I haven't seen any cars yet. Yeah, I've got, I've got to put that first. Oh, there we go. There's a truck. Yeah, I've got to put, got to put that first at the moment. Did, uh, I did start to do something with my with my weight um, when I got back off holiday. When I got back off holiday, I break 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 break. break. I check check my weight. And I thought we'd um, do a skiing. I thought maybe we'd um, maybe even either not put any weight on or took it off and I was skiing's not it is a it's a knackering sport I'll tell you that so I thought mate you know maybe we'd either balanced it out or maybe lost a bit or just a little bit over when I realised that I put on nearly three quarters of a stone on that holiday I did start to do something about it but then the whole moving house thing happened and My brakes, my brakes are a bit all over the place at the moment. I started doing something about it, started doing exercise and just eating healthier. And then the thing with the house happened, and then I just didn't. When we were doing the move in the house and doing decorating and all the decor doing things in the house, that all changed. I didn't have time to do ex to do them sort of things. And then once again, it got to a point where I was like, okay. We'll just sweep under the carpet again. That's, that's been. What is up with my brakes? They're really struggling at the moment. So I'm going to check my sense. Why are my brakes? Oh, I don't know if I want to do that one. No, I didn't know what. No. Oh, Quite high. Uh, I'll make drugs, but, yeah. Okay, we'll leave that for now then. Just try and be a bit more wary of it. Now 
Now, yeah, but once again, I just swept under the carpet and let it pass. And I haven't really put much more weight on it. I have lost a bit of it because I've been a where I've swept under the carpet and not done huge amounts about it, I've still been a bit mindful about it and been considerate about what I eat, try to be considerate about what I eat. There have still been a lot of days where I go, ah, sod it, let's just go to KFC, McDonald's or Subway, and then um, just be a lazy eater, basically. Oh, I haven't been mindful, I haven't been mindful. Am I gonna hit someone gonna hit me? Ah, no, okay, thankfully not. That is one of my problems as well, as I'm a lazy eater. Um, if my missus a lot of time does make me my pack up, and she'll obviously give me healthy, healthy things, and I, I do enjoy eating them, but they're a pain in the ass to make. This, this, this still quite a consuming thing to make. Whereas I'm a lazy eater, I like, I like to have the, the simple, simple food. So I just make a simple sandwich, and then um, that'll do me. But if my missus doesn't make the, the salad, then I don't make. I either go without, then when I come and I think oh, I'll be alright for work, I can go without. The one I'm actually at work, I'll be hungry and I'll go, sod it, there's a subway just over the road, I'll go and get a subway or I'll go and get a meal deal. And I do that a lot and that's one of my biggest downfalls. The frame rate is actually terrible right now. What's going on here? Why is the frame rate so bad? Junctions are a bit fucking confusing. Thursday. 
Police cars in France yet? I'm sure there are going to be some. I'm sure they'll catch a speed if, he's, if they do see you. Let's see what are we slowing down? That was a speed limit change, but I'll carry on. Let's see some things. Where are we in relation to something? Okay, so what I'm actually going to do is I'm actually going to, because I am actually that tight on time, I'm actually going to um, cut it short and drive over to this garage or this uh, service station. And then I'll continue this journey on another video. But I'll give us another start, a good a better starting point from anyway. Down in um, La, La Rochelle, where we're going to. Oh, that was another thing in that 1.27 was um, multi fuel points. So rather than just having on one at one at the station, we actually have um, a couple. It should be handy on a multiplayer. Alright, let's fill up. Big old tank on this runner. That'll do. Can we sleep here? Yeah, we can. Okay, guys, I'm going to call that there then. Um, big apologies, this is not as long as I wanted to. 
hopefully next episode we'll do a nice long while do a nice long journey we'll complete this journey do another long journey to I'll do the, the furthest one we can um, because I'm getting a bit annoyed that I can't do really long journeys on these on this series at the moment we haven't done a, a decently long one yet um, obviously we can't do huge ones because we haven't leveled up that far but we do the big ones we level up faster yada yada you see where I'm coming from but yeah so um, thank you all very much for watching I shall talk to you all very soon bye bye